Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the legendary Iron Man playthrough of uh, this wonderful mod. We are going to do Operation Crystal Prophecy, which includes a um, important step for the liberation chain. It is quest 4 out of 5 uh, to liberate Australia. And if you just look at Australia at the moment, we're looking at Strength 7, Vigilance 19. So it's fair to say that Advent knows what's up. Uh, we're at 19 Vigilance. Uh, so the Blood Angels now need to land and to set an end to the heresy. Let's go. Locate the access point and hack in to seize the broadcast signal. All right, let's do this. Blood Angels landed. And everybody is very well in concealment. I like that. No need to ask twice. Location confirmed. Rolling out. On Overwatch. But we're facing a plethora of enemies plus potential reinforcements. So what I would suggest is trying to get as close to the network tower as possible, and then maybe use the fact that. The enemy will be stunned once we have hacked it. Good, we're moving up. Yeah, we, this will be kind of a fine line because I'll try to push in as far as we can and then quote unquote make a run for the target. Problem that I'm seeing is we already got a lot of enemies that are blocking our way. This would be a nice position. On the move. Got a group of hostiles over here. Oh wow, look at you, even more enemies. Who would have thought? Hung. What are we going to do with you? Bit lost up here. On my way. I think this is not a bad spot generally, and then our main damage dealer should s take the high ground. These guys are moving a little bit further away, we should be fine. Already there. Understood. Moving out. Moving into cover. Moving as close to them as possible. What's our chance of hacking that mech? Well, we could shut it down. That's relatively okay. But actually hacking it, 33% chance, not great. Let's move over here. Let these guys maybe move a little bit further away. And in a perfect world, I wouldn't want to trigger the other side. Like 
hostiles over here. Okay, look. Um, this is a good frontline position. Unless these guys move all the way to the edge, this position would also be safe, but who knows, right? Centurions? I hope that's not going to be the new standard here. I sincerely hope this is not going to be the new standard. Guys are back. That's affirmative. Let's do this. Stepping off. Moving over there. to here. Wow. It's going to be tough. If we move right in, that might not be the right uh, call. I would like to engage with one or two of those pegs first, and then we can give it a go. This was just too much at the same time. Okay, the moment that someone comes to here, we could uh, we could give it a go. with this pack. Maybe now is the time to actually go. 
Bomber's confirmed. On the move. Target in range. Move to hack the command console. Let's position ourselves here. That way we cannot easily be spotted out. And next turn we're giving it a go. position themselves very well. Nice little flamethrower roast. Could teach them a lesson. Securing terminal. Cool. Everybody's down for two rounds. So now it's a matter of making sure that we're using our time most wisely. your way to help over here. Moves up. I can't see anything. Well, that's a kill. Great. Let's get the mech. Mech down, smack down. Critical strike there. Whatever you say. Ninety two per cent. I think this might be a nice kill. Almost. Hunk could continue to move up if we want it. I need to do that. These guys are all dead. Getting a little too warm over here. Good second round. After this, we need to be done. Finally. Nice little fresh roast.
getting the Centurion down. And since the Centurions are resistant against our attacks, I just want to make sure we got them whilst they're stunned. Ah, come on! So close! Implacable. Okay, before we move in, no problem, boss. Heavy Lancer. Dead, dead, and this guy we can kill. This guy is no longer burning. Did not take enough damage to actually die. Disappointing. Very, very disappointing. move to here Finally. then begin to engage on the other side slowly but surely oh, we're team working over for an extra action before then Trying to take control of that turret. Super heavy turret. Close, but no cigar. I think we have failsafe, so... It unfortunately didn't work out. got the Archon nicely locked down, uh, there's another Blade Storm and some, uh, some more damage incoming. Go 
Good. Spectre is down. I need to reload here. And maybe we're just going to flashbang. Could do this, but there is a risk uh, that it'll go astray. Good. Minimum movement for him. There's the blade storm, and now the counter attack. Very nice. How does he shoot through full cover? Okay. I call that a bit bullshit, but whatever. If the game feels like that's the right uh, way to handle it, okay. We do have Bladestorm, so even if the turret survives, it'll hurt. Two down. I can handle that. Not too shabby. Seems doable. Move it up. And that should be it, right? Okay, another pack. Could we then need to begin collecting our stuff? There is another pack around. Because we just lost three loot. With me stupidly thinking, you know what, no problem. We're going to get it. Did we trigger? Oh yeah. Here takes a shot, but unfortunately not a hit. Let's kill the priest, straight out kill. Thank you.
too far away. I don't think that we can see Renvin, which would be the right person to hand over the uh, the action. And from here to here is too far. Good. Guys down. Whatever you say. Pick up some extra loot. Thanks for the course. That is there. valuable. Most to here. And kill this guy. Really? This or in? Okay. Well, feel free to do whatever you think must be done. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. All things considered, a uh, pretty solid mission. Lost a bit uh, out on our loot. But we only took one point of damage. And boy, we dealt a lot of damage. We killed them all. Specifically, the last pack, Double uh, Centurion and Archon. They're, they are showing what we're going to um, fight soon. So we need magnetic weapons for that. Blood Angels are doing very well for themselves. Salvo is great. That'll allow us to shoot a rocket and then do something else. Fantastic. Aviator could theoretically go for low profile. Or we're giving him a pistol and he has a few more things to do. He would get all the way to like lightning hands plus face off. And that's not bad. So that's 25 points uh, compared to counting uh, low uh, profile as full cover that we could reach or extra aggression. I actually think that the pistol tree is uh, more advantageous for him. Keep in mind he cannot, uh, since he's a blood angel and not a um, gray knight, he cannot uh, use other skills. That's why of course I would have uh, selected something different. But that's some extra damage right there. And that's the enemy headquarters. So if we were to assault that facility, uh, potentially will be a tough fight. Let me figure out whom we're going to pick on that one. Well, look, uh, it's relatively simple. It's not the Blood Angels because you can see uh, they are very much tired from the network tower. So this here, still will uh, need some uh, some more time yeah we just we just need to wait 
These guys are infiltrating, infiltrating, infiltrating in. Uh, the HQ will not disappear. So that's the good one, uh, the good part of it. It will not disappear. And I don't want to uh, send kind of a half, half uh, decent sized, uh, more half equipped um, team in there. I would actually like to do a proper mission. Very good. So what else do we want to do? We can heal faster, doesn't do much than we could. Scrap, uh, scrap together the uh, funds to finally build uh, the network tower here, but we do not have that yet. So that's a no-show as well. Could try to get more intel, of course. We have enough missions here, have enough missions there. Might as well go for intel. which will, at the end of the day, help our expansion. More recruitment happening here, that's good. Whilst we are recruiting, might as well just put a Haven Advisor in. Very good. So let's continue with Intel. Some enemies gain the aggression ability, granting them bonus critical chance. That's the normal uh, upgrade that they are taking. And you can see now that the um, strength rating has actually increased. So the base value is no longer seven to nine. T uh, two a day, 17 hours, unfortunately not Hmm. Hmm. No, 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 not that fast, Saiken. This is Liberation Mission. I'm going to take that. I'm going to spend some intel and we're going to make it work. So it's going to be a three-man job and I'm wondering if the rookies are the right ones for this. Lots of tired units so we got a reaper, could start leading this. We got a shinobi that uh, deals a lot of damage. We just need to sabotage a transmitter. Hmm, could we sell run that? Potentially. We need to kill uh, the enemies afterwards, but we could at least stealth there. Could do. Uh, could uh, could go with venom. advisors are there but I think getting that lib lib liberation done is a good idea and we're only fighting against 10 to 12 so if I can make it work that would be awesome Venom 
and we're looking at Raven and Marking Axenroth. So I just need to work a little bit uh, with the magic here, and I think I can make it happen. Okay, so that'll be an interesting mission because we need to act very, very fast, but we can uh, do it against four squads and all we need to do is, yeah, move in with the team, keep concealed and we should be good to go. Let's make sure with this one here that we're boosting the infiltration. Okay. Cool. Nothing wrong with already starting the liberation chain there. Uh, that way we're not running into the same problems as uh, with the other regions. Avenger plotting new course. Good, Avatar Project could really require a little bit of a bump down. Your primary weapons uh, will poison enemies. Uh, that's not good. Really bad training for us. Ah, uh, our income has gone down considerable. Uh, that sort of tells me there is a likelihood that we got a um, a faceless one here. Another scientist. Seven to nine days. I like scientists because that'll help us to just overall continue being awesome and uh, research. We're detecting lost activity in this area. Our forces will need to be especially vigilant. Let me see if I can scrap together a team. That will infiltrate under the banner of the Iron Hand. Let me fix this. Alright, so we got everything, everything uh, ready. So many infiltrations happening at the same time. Just trying to do that liberation on top of is just the icing on the cake. Uh, how long until the training will be done? Three days. Yeah, let's get as many uh, scientists onto the coil gun research as possible. I'm already sensing Mutant Centurions and a lot of other problems. I really don't want to deal with them. Good. We're going to upgrade the laboratory soon. I need money for that, but we're going to be fine. And uh, that will hopefully give us a substantial boost. But before we can do that, uh, we're going to have a lot of missions that we need to go through, one of which uh, we're going to do the next time, Operation Buried Gasp, that is. So, I think we have like eight missions at the moment that we're infiltrating at the same time. And I think I'll also purchase more, uh, more uh, soldiers from the black market. That makes a lot of sense. I was about to say, um, that must have uh, happened 
very recently. So and the, with the alien machinery here, that's another hundred supp uh, supplies. And then we're going to get uh, that po uh, power coil here, only 15, but that's still okay. I think I'll uh, just clear that with one person and put the other one onto proving grounds for now. Hmm. Maybe we're clearing it with two. That's fine. The most important part now is from a priority perspective, laboratory upgrade that will give us effectively 16 scientists and hopefully get the weapon research uh, down. Then we have a lot of extra funds. A um, couple new soldiers would be good. But I would also like to get to North America and take uh, the continent there. So another network tower, uh, that'll be 350 down the drain. Liberation will give us an, a second region so that we have another steady income. We will need to sell a couple of items in the meantime, but I think we're fine. From a squad perspective, uh, still a lot to do. I mean, we've just barely opened the salamanders. Uh, there is kind of a, a squad running under the Iron Hands banner at the moment. That's not really a squad either. So I need to clean all of this up. Um, at the moment, we do not have a lot of uh, defense. If we are, if we would be attacked now, I mean, we could then do the uh, the ultramarines will will come uh, off of uh, a mission, and I can already see that imperial fists are soon coming off of a mission as well. So, yeah, we're with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven effectively eight swats now um, that is I think the biggest uh, in uh, infiltration that I've done so far this is typically the point on stream where uh, where I'm more or less calling it quits we're like what 60 episodes in ah, we're going to give it a little bit more just for fun to also see how this uh, develops all right End of uh, mission, you know what the drill is. Please go down and leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Bye bye guys.